Hey guys, because I can feel the anger burning up inside me. Today we're going to be talking about Little Nas X, and if you are younger than, then I would suggest watching this with your parent. Make good content that everybody can watch. This X is not kid friendly at all. He speaks for himself. There is no way I can change this video if I'm giving you proof of stuff and stuff like that. Yeah, I suggest watching this with a parent. This guy, I'm going to say this over and over and over again in this video, but this guy needs to get canceled. I'm so ready for him to get canceled, and he should get canceled, and there's no good reason for him not to get canceled. For half the people in our world are insane and don't have common sense, so further ado, let's get into it. Here is a video that I did not want to do. Was, um, editing this, I realized that I cut off the age limit and I said 11, just so you know. As you can see, he is very different. Outfits are insanely cringe. Make me cringe and puke inside of my mouth. As you can clearly see, he is definitely gay. His outfit- as X was super duper popular after his number one hit song, Old Town Road, super duper popular. But then a little bit soon after that, he came out as being gay to everyone. And that's when his songs started taking a turn. They go from this, this. The video call, the video is called That's What I Want. And I'm sure you've heard it before. It goes like this. I need... Mm, Someone who loves me. I need mm, someone who. I don't know. Music video. It's wild. It's pretty much where he gets hurt, um, and he likes this football player. He's playing football, and um, he gets hurt. He goes back to the locker rooms, and the football player. Um, goes back and they're in the locker rooms together and right away they start kissing oh so gross please don't watch it so disgusting i didn't even watch the full video i just saw that i was like okay bye so yeah he went from um old town road to that robot one and then that like sad and then <laughs> As if we didn't think his music would get any worse by a hundred. Then he made that song. I haven't watched it. I don't plan on watching it. And I don't think I ever will watch it. So I don't know anything about that video. But I have seen pictures. That's a lot. So, But pretty much the video, the music video is about how he's in love with the devil and how he is gay for him and is nasty and stuff like that it makes me sick talking about it but yeah and um here are some pictures that i found too he ended up getting a lot of talk about this song and everything and he ended up making merch and shoes shoes on them have the number 666 which is the devil's number then a bible verse talking about when the devil was made i think just a demonic symbol in the front hey um i'm back as you can see i look different like you know i said i was gonna post this video like that day when i was filming it and it's like six days after i filmed it Maybe less, probably less. But I had to take a break and I just did not want to film this anymore because it was taking forever. It was really, really hard. But I'm back and I'm going to finish strong. <laughs> I'm going to go off from where we left off. It was talking about the shoes. Okay, so we know how he made that terrible um, video. Well, I was looking online and a couple, like, I don't think a whole lot of people know that he made this shirt, but he came out with this merch and this shirt is completely unacceptable. I'm going to put it up on the screen and also read it. 
Okay, so this is what the shirt says. I love Jesus and that one part in the Monetaro music video by Little Nas X when he gets nasty with the devil because it was a cool form of self-expression in art. And then there's another shirt that says, I watched the Monetaro video by Little Nas X and all I got was this lousy shirt and now I'm also gay and love Satan. The part that gets me the most is because it's a cool form of expression and art this entire shirt this entire man he sickens me because he's totally mocking christianity and i guarantee you a hundred percent that if he was to mock the lgbtq community people would actually do something about him but since a lot of people don't take christianity and serious in this world no one's gonna do anything about it i mean obviously you can't just be like you're bad you need to stop posting this stuff. But at least people in the world could do something about it by not just completely boycotting him. Just trying to cancel him and everything. Like, I hate that this guy is making money out of his terrible music and stuff like this while mocking Christianity. It's completely unacceptable. Honestly, cannot believe that he thinks this is a cool form of expression in art. You know, it's like saying, oh, um, I'm a murderer and... I just killed this person. I'm just expressing my inner self, though, because that's just who I am. And to think that some people don't think that's wrong, I'm just expressing myself. It's art. I call it art. It's not funny anymore. Soon after he made that, though, he came out with um, this other song. I'm not watching it either because I will not watch any of his um, music videos or listen to them. Because they are completely corrupted and I will not. No, I will not. The song is called J. Christ. Um. I've already seen a couple photos. And all I can say is this is disgusting. You know what's really funny? Is that he made the, um, Monetero video. I think that's how you pronounce it. I don't even know how you pronounce it. But he made that. And then try to cover up his mockage of the Christians while trying to make a Jesus song. The level of disrespect is absurd. Like, honestly. And he even said um, in his J. Christ single that I didn't mean to mock. So he knows he mocked. But he's not going to do anything about it. Like, cancel your song. I don't care how much money it took to make that. That's your fault. And you should... If you didn't mean to mock us, then completely delete the video. Because you know, if you're mocking us, if you're mocking someone, then why wouldn't you delete the video? Like, completely just cancel the song, since it's literally mocking us. Most importantly, though, it's mocking God and Jesus. The same thing. It's mocking Him and... <laughs> But, um, you know, what I think is not cool is that first he makes his old devil song, Satan song, I love him, I want to be dirty with him, and, and all that stuff. He mocks us, and God, mainly God, because, you know, we wouldn't be here without him. But he mocks him in that, and then he tries to make another song to cover it up, and still continues to mock him. It doesn't change at all, it even gets worse. Like, he tries, to, uh, he tries to apologize while still mocking us. And um, there's even a video clip of him um, drinking all the grape juice and eating all the bread. For it's not there for you to eat and drink it and snack on it like it's a snack. I found this video, so just take a listen to it. I was watching a video pertaining to little Nas and he's now claiming that he's a Christian but he's not representing God the way he should and a lot of people are thinking oh wow you know he's now a Christian well actually he's mocking the things of God as I watch this now if he's trying to become a Christian and trying to change his ways, then we will know by the fruit. 
And we will know by what God says in the word. People, we are getting so caught up in people and personalities. We need to be caught up in the things of God. Exactly. I just want to say, if he is really trying to get closer to God and be a Christian, good for him. But I have this strong feeling, and I'm not judging or accusing, but I just, I feel like he's just doing this for clout. Like, I don't feel like he's actually trying to be a Christian, because as you can see from his videos, he doesn't love him. He's just blaspheming and mocking him, and that's not right. And Steps to Christianity isn't mocking him. It's completely the opposite. I hope that one day this man will change before it comes to the end times and there's and you just can't turn back cuz once you go to the gates of God you can't turn back and say I'm not ready. I want to go back and I want to be a follower of you cuz I really don't want to go to hell. I'm not judging, but after making the Satan video, um I am pretty sure he would go to down there. Because if he asked God for forgiveness, then, you know, he's still living a very sinful life. We all are, but he's just not turning, as you can see. But, um, seems like he really likes the devil, so. And that's another thing. Does he want to go to hell, or does he want to go to heaven? That's another thing um, we should be looking for to see if he's actually being trying to be a Christian or not. <sighs> so, yeah. That was the video. This took me a long time. Lots of editing, but I'm glad I did it because, you know, sharing your opinion is great. Some people don't think, but, you know. Um, I just want to say this This isn't not judging him because we aren't here to judge. This is giving my opinion and how this his behavior was c completely unacceptable. I'm a kid, yeah, I know, and I'm telling this to someone who's a lot... Um, no, he's not greater than me. We're equal, but, like, you know, famous celebrity stuff like that. Yeah, I know, but I still have a right to say this because, um, as Christians, we should be, um, with God and defend him because he's just unacceptable. <laughs> but, yeah, that's all I have for you guys today, and thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe and hit that like button. And Jesus loves you, and have a great day.